Love. Well, hello there. <laughs> I have not vlogged in a hot second because um, these two weeks have been very busy. I decided to document it all and then combine it into one video and so I wanted to show you guys what the holidays here look like. So some of you might be confused because you're just like, what do you mean all the holidays? Isn't there just like one holiday in the month of December? The thing is, I don't just celebrate Hanukkah. I also celebrate Thanksgiving and I also celebrate Christmas. Now the thing is this, I believe in Yeshua. I am a Messianic Jew for people who might think that I am, um, I don't know, lost. <laughs> I am not lost. Um, I have been a Messianic Jew since I was a kid. Um, I am 30 now and so I've had enough years in my adult life to choose um, what I want to believe in and what I don't and that's what I believe in. So, I am half Goya and uh, half Jew and I am fully both of them at the same time. So, let's talk about Hanukkah. Hanukkah is I think one of my favorite holidays because it's, it's just, first of all you have Sufganiyot. Sufganiyot is one of those things that you have to taste it to understand what it is. It's not exactly like a donut but it's similar. Fluffy dough deep fried in oil and then they put yummy goodness inside of it and on the outside of it and they make them very decadent. We actually eat a lot of um, food in Hanukkah that is like deep fried or like with oil because of Nes Pach Hashemin. In the second century, Antiochus or Antiochus came and took over Israel and desecrated the temple. The Jews were not happy with it. They, the Maccabites fought back and basically took over the temple again. When they got to the temple, they saw that it was desecrated, it was ruined, and they didn't have enough oil for the menorah to keep going in the temple. They found one little tiny pach shemen, which means like little oil can, and they say that the miracle is that that little oil can lasted them for eight days. So that's why we have the tradition of taking the Hanukkah and lighting a candle each night. And so everybody puts the Hanukkah with their candles at their window and they light it all at the same time. They, when we sing our song, there's a really nice neighborhood in Jerusalem, which is called Nachlot, and it's a lot of religious people that live there, and so they put out their Hanukkiyot, like right outside their house. So if you're ever in Israel during Hanukkah, please, please, please go to Nachlot during the time that they light the candles. You'll see all of them outside lighting the candles, singing songs, and then they leave their Hanukkiyot out to sort of burn out. I really love Hanukkah. It's one of the most, you know, heartwarming holidays you have in Israel. So that was that. And then we're coming up to Christmas. It's me and my sister and our group of friends, we always have our traditional Christmas. And so we did that. One thing that I'm really going through right now is the fact that I'm realizing that the year 2021 went by, like went by, it flew by. Like you blink and it's almost the end of 2021. And just realizing how um, challenging this year has been. And if I'm be honest, it's more than challenging. It was very, very, very difficult. Come 2021 on New Year's Eve, I spent it alone somehow all of my 
friends that were in Texas and I only had like three good friends. They were doing things either with family or they were abroad, they were somewhere else. And I was really trying to make friends. And so I decided to go to a home group full of people that I didn't know for this New Year's party. I'm like, Oriel, be brave, go there. And so I did, I went there and I just tried to sort of make friends and introduce myself and be brave. I decided to go home early and just avoid traffic on the roads and I was watching the fireworks that were happening all over the world. And as I'm sitting there, come 12 o'clock, I hear God say to me in my head, the year 2021 will be a year of providence and of reward. What happened since then is that life hasn't felt rewarding and it hasn't really felt that God's providence was with me. And for many different reasons, I could sit here and be like, wow, I am so disappointed. And the truth is, I was. And during my time here, I have had to look at things really differently and change and shift my perspective and be like, oh yeah, you have a very earthy perspective of what God is doing. You know, like if you look at the Bible and you see what Israel went through, they wouldn't be able to see everything that was going to happen while they were going through it, what God was doing behind the scenes to change things in their lives. So I said to myself, okay, oh yeah, you don't know what God is doing in the year 2021 that you will only reap the benefits of in 2022. What if the reward and what if the providence that he promised is happening? I just don't see it yet. And so I guess that gave me hope and it also really challenged me to be full of faith and believe because that is the walk. We walk by faith and not by sight. And when he stretches you like that and when you go for a long time not seeing the results of something that God promised you, it is really, really, really easy to be discouraged. Super easy. And I feel like I have to find maturity in me that says, okay, you can't see it, it doesn't mean it's not happening. So this is what I'm going to believe. I'm going to still believe for the things that he promised or for the things that I want him to do. And if they don't happen, I can still have rest and peace in my heart knowing that he will. And it's a challenge for me that I'm saying it out loud right now so that I keep myself accountable so that, you know, come December 31st, I'm not looking back and saying, wow, you didn't fulfill your promise just because I can't see how he's fulfilling it. Anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video and seeing how Hanukkah is in Israel and seeing what Christmas can be like in Israel. And if you know anyone who would enjoy this too, then share it with them. Comment down below and let me know what you think, what you think about Hanukkah, what you think about Christmas, if you are of uh, a mixed background and culture and have ever had to decide or see what you want to do and how you want to live your life and what your convictions are. All your comments are welcomed and I just wanted to say thank you for being uh, a part and watching this video and I love you guys. Goodbye.